In today's show, I'm going to reveal Tika Tawari's number one altcoin pick, which he just shared on his five coins to five million live event. You heard me correct. During the show, I'm going to announce the actual name of Tika Tawari's number one cryptocurrency pick. Keep in mind, the last time Tika Tawari shared his number one pick, it soared 1800% in nine weeks. And I'm going to share this with you for free on today's show. And in today's show, we'll also be taking a look at the Bitcoin price action, Bitcoin had a nice $500 bounce in the past 24 hours. Where's Bitcoin likely to go from here? Find out this and Tika's number one altcoin pick in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every day. Be sure to click the subscribe button and bell icon to receive notifications of the latest crypto news. All right, welcome back to today's show. Let's get right into it because I know you really want to know Tika Tawari's number one altcoin pick, which he just shared during his five coins to five million live event. Are you ready for the big announcement? Tika's number one altcoin pick is Chainlink. So let's take a look, shall we? Chainlink is currently trading at $1.83, and Tika refers to this cryptocurrency as the missing link to the blockchain. The current market cap of Chainlink is 640 million USD, or 62,595 BTC, or 2,920,000 Ethereum. The volume in the past 24 hours is almost 80 million USD, or 78.17 Bitcoin. The circulating supply is 350 million, and the total supply there will ever be is 1 billion link. And now let's take a look at the chain link price charts. When it was introduced to the market, it was September 20th of 2017, trading at 15 cents. And we've seen it peak on June 30th of this year for $4.05. And it's currently trading at $1.83. So for Tika Tawari to choose this as his number one recommended altcoin says a lot about this project. And here's some more information about the Chainlink project in case it's new to you. It's a decentralized Oracle service which aims to connect smart contracts with data from the real world. Since blockchains cannot access data outside their network, Oracles are needed to function as data feeds in smart contracts. Oracles provide external data that trigger smart contract executions upon the fulfillment of predefined conditions. Participants on the Chainlink network are incentivized through rewards to provide smart contracts with access to external data feeds. Should users desire access to off-chain data, they can submit a requesting contract to Chainlink's network. These contracts will match the requesting contract with the appropriate Oracles. The contracts include reputation contracts, contract, an order matching contract, and an aggregation contract. The aggregating contract gathers data of the selected oracles to find the most accurate result. And once again, Tika Tawari refers to Chainlink as the missing link of the blockchain. And now taking a look at the Chainlink statistics. Again, the current price is $1.83 USD. The Chainlink ROI is 1,069%. The market rank is currently 21. The market cap, 640 million. The 24-hour volume volume is almost 80 million. The circulating supply is 350 million. The total supply ever is going to be 1 billion. The all-time high is $4.54 and the all-time low is 12 cents. Now let's take a look at the official Chainlink website. I included it below this video in the description. And here's what it says. Your smart contracts connected to real-world data, events, and payments. The Chainlink network provides reliable tamper-proof inputs and outputs for complex smart contracts on any blockchain. Again, the missing link of the blockchain. And on the website, you can check out some pretty cool diagrams on how this actually works in the real world. And here's the official Chainlink Twitter. I also included this resource below the video in the description. And while we're talking about Twitter, don't forget to follow the show below this video in the description. I included a link. All right. Now that we know Tika Tawari's number one altcoin pick is Chainlink, I'm curious, do you hold any Chainlink? Let me know in the comments below. Low, and are you going to purchase some? I know I just did, and I'm pretty excited about it. And if you want to know all five of Tika Tawari's top cryptocurrency picks, I included a link right below this video in the description for you to register to watch the replay.
play of five coins to five million. He talks about a rare crypto phenomenon that only occurs every four years. And when it does, the entire cryptocurrency market goes parabolic. He genuinely believes that you can transform a $500 tiny investment to $5 million in as little as 10 months. So to check out the replay of five coins to five million, click the link right below this video in the description. I don't know how long it will be available for, and it's not the type of video that you can just find anywhere online or on YouTube. In other crypto news, 81 million people can now buy Bitcoin, XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin through Japanese messaging giant. The social networking giant, which reports 81 million monthly active users in Japan alone, that's active users, now offers trading for Bitcoin, XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. Tokyo headquartered line previously rolled out an international facing exchange called Bitbox in July 2018, which offered services worldwide excluding the United States and Japan. Now with their new domestic exchange, BitMax, the company says it's ready to tap into their largest market. And here's what they went on to say. While numerous existing exchanges already have a large customer base, Lion sees cryptocurrency exchanges as still in their infancy and believes the industry has potential for even greater growth. The exchange is offered through Lion's digital wallet and links with the Line Pay service, allowing for fast deposits and withdrawals in yen. The company says it plans to emphasize security, the experience team behind the design, building, and operation of the line platform has also been responsible for building BitMax's security environment. As part of cryptocurrency security measures, BitMax uses the high security wallet from BitGo Incorporated, a US-based provider for world-class technologies. BitMax also clearly separates and manages customer assets from the company's own, as well as stores cryptocurrencies in a cold wallet. A dedicated team has been especially created to manage the cold wallet itself as part of Line's commitment to providing the most reliable and secure service possible. Line reports a total of 164 million users worldwide. This is a pretty big deal and super bullish news for Bitcoin. And in other crypto news, Tom Lee says, backed to improve trust with institutions to crypto in three days. That's right. The backed futures launch is September 23rd. Let's talk about it. Bitcoin and cryptocurrency will gain trust from the incoming launch of institutional platform backed. A well-known analyst said more praise for backed in a tweet on September 19th. Fundstrat Global Advisor co-founder Tom Lee joined the increasing number of Bitcoin figures bullish about backs impact in the space. The platform goes live on September 23rd and will offer the first physical Bitcoin futures. Investors who have been able to deposit funds since September 6th will take delivery of payouts exclusively in Bitcoin. The remaining days to launch have been so far characterized by lackluster progress for Bitcoin markets, which dropped below 10,000 once again, but we just rebounded, right? Now recovering Bitcoin price could nonetheless shift considerably once more in the short term. Lee wrote, I am very positive on backed and its ability to improve trust with institutions to crypto. Here's what's interesting. Bitcoin price tanked before the Bitcoin futures rollover date. Responses generated a further theory about the current Bitcoin price weakness, which centered Thursday's changeover day for the CME group's own Bitcoin futures. As Cointelegraph reported, futures expiration and rollover dates have historically exerted pressure on the Bitcoin markets. September, meanwhile, also saw a quieter entry into futures by cryptocurrency exchange Binance. Launching last week, figures nonetheless revealed significant open interest of $150 million, even while the product was still trading in invite-only mode. Open interest in CME's futures dropped to a four-month low at the same time as Bitcoin price performance failed to excite. Now taking a look at the overall cryptocurrency market, we can see most things are in the green. This is a good sign. Bitcoin up 3.32%, trading at $10,182. Yesterday, it was down to $9,850. We saw a nice bounce back above the critical $10,000 resistance, and now that's serving as a strong support. Ethereum is pumping up 4.53% for the day currently trading at $217.94. EOS is up 1.26%, trading at $3.89. Miss Litecoin is up 2.04%, trading at $75.63. XRP is down 0.08%, trading at $0.29. Cents. And that's to be expected as XRP and Stellar skyrocketed this week. Taking a look at the Bitcoin dominance on 
Bitcoin market cap, you can see it's currently at 67.6%. So there has been a pullback on the Bitcoin dominance rise, and that's a good sign for the altcoins. And taking a look over at the BitMEX margins, we can see the bulls are currently dominating with 180 million in superiority, winning with 53.73% longs versus 46.27% shorts. This is pretty good news for Bitcoin. Let me know if you're bullish or bearish in the comments below. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive notifications of the latest crypto news. And before we go, don't forget this is your last chance to check out the replay of Five Coins to Five Million by Tika Tawari before he pulls it off the internet. At this time, the replay is currently up and you still have the opportunity to check it out. It's the most important and most talked about cryptocurrency investment event of 2019. In today's show, I gave you his number one pick, Chainlink. But wouldn't you like to know the name of all five of Tika Tawari's top cryptocurrency picks? It's not too late. Click the link right below this video in the description. Check it out. And I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.